Hey everyone, so today I'm going to cover some very useful tools to really help build out your PvP arsenal. The tools I'll be covering are made from Ghost Stadium and essentially it's to check for PvP IVs and which Pokemons are ideal to power up or which Pokemons you might want to hold off and try to get a better ranked one. So if you don't really understand PvP IVs and why they're different than wanting to just get 100% IVs, I made a video on this about a year ago and it's pretty detailed so I'll link it down below but feel free to check it out because it is a pretty important concept and making sure that your teams have optimized IVs can really make a difference in a lot of matchups over the course of hundreds and thousands of battles. The first one I'm going to cover is the rank checker. So checking rank for PvP is actually pretty important and a lot of people hunt down very high rank Pokemon. So I'm checking the rank of one of my Azumarill's and the one I have is a rank 3. However, a really cool function of this Go Stadium rank checker is that you can click the box that says include best buddy. It includes all the best buddy spreads of this Pokemon and sometimes that may make a difference, sometimes it won't. Because the Azumarill needs a decent amount of attack to hit 1500 and it could be maxed out at level 40. Being able to best buddy it to level 40 and a half or 41 can actually make a difference in terms of how much stat product you can pack into it. So you'll see that my Azumarill actually is only ranked 23 if you include all best buddy Azumarills. In the grand scheme of things, this probably won't make too big of a difference, but it is something you could definitely optimize for. The next tool that's really useful is actually a rank comparison tool. So what this does is you can actually compare the different ranks across all the leagues. So I'm going to use this EV as an example that I haven't involved yet, but I know that it's going to be a pretty good Espeon. So checking the EV's IVs for an Espeon, you'll see that out of the three leagues, Ultra League is the best for this Espeon because it'll be a rank 5 in Ultra League. In Great League, it's not too bad at rank 239, but overall it's better to save this Espeon for Ultra League over Great League. And of course for Master League, it's not going to be that highly ranked because you want to have 100% on those. And especially with Gas League Community Day coming up, this could be really useful when you're checking IVs for Gengars for either Great League or Ultra League. And then lastly, you have the full IV rankings. And so this will list out the top 50 or top 100 rank of a specific Pokemon you're looking for. So in this situation, I've toggled Toxicroak and Ultra League. So I have a Toxicroak that's 100% IVs. And in this situation, you do want 100% IVs in Ultra League. So technically speaking, I have a rank one Ultra League Toxicroak. However, you could toggle on the include best buddy. And if you do that, it's going to include all the best buddy spreads. And you see that my Toxicroak prior to best buddy feature was rank one. But now with the best buddy feature, you can actually optimize it even further. And so my 100% Toxicroak is actually a rank 32 in Ultra League. And the real rank one will be a 13, 15, 15. IV spread. So this could be a very useful tool for Pokemon you might not have yet, but you're looking for the ideal spreads. You can keep those in mind when you're hunting and looking for different things. And just as a bonus tool, this isn't actually a Go Stadium tool, but it's a tool I found really useful for buddy progress checker. And this tool is made by a creator named Kitsune. So I'll link his website down below as well. What you do is take a screenshot of your buddy progress and then you upload it to the site. And from there, it'll track how many more hearts you need and how many days it'll probably take for you to hit best buddy with the Pokemon. I found this to be super helpful because I was trying to best buddy my Sableye for a tournament. I was trying to make sure that I was able to reach best buddy before that tournament started. And I found that this was actually really accurate pretty much down to the exact day. Of course, overall, Ghost Stadium also has a bunch of different resources on their website. And a lot of these tools and resources can help with your preparation for Go Battle League and Silph Arena Cups. So I highly recommend you check it out. So hopefully these tools are really helpful for you. Thank you all for watching. A big shout out to all my patrons who have been supporting my content creation. Also also two big announcements for my Patreon. I've actually just expanded my top two limited tiers on Patreon. Those spots sold out really quickly last time around. So if you weren't able to get a spot last time, hopefully you can get one this time. And the other big announcement is I will be doing live streams for all my patrons. So whether you're in the $50 tier or the $1 tier, all my patrons will have access to those live streams and have a chance to engage with me and battle with me and stuff. If you like this video, feel free to give it a like and share, subscribe for future content, and I'll see y'all next time.